Hello, everyone. Today we are going to look at words or phrases known as conjunctions. Conjunctions are very important in English because they join two parts of a sentence together. Examine this sentence. Jane heard the noise, and she ran to the door. It is actually a combination of two sentences. Jane heard the noise. Jane ran to the door. So we use the conjunction and to join them into one sentence. Jane heard the noise, and she ran to the door. Or, in a simpler form, Jane heard the noise and ran to the door. So conjunctions are used to join words or phrases in a sentence. The first type of conjunction is called a coordinating conjunction. There are seven basic coordinating conjunctions in English. These are for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. If you want an easy way to remember this, the first letters make up the acronym Fanboys. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Fanboys are not used at the beginning of a sentence. If they join two clauses, they come in between the two clauses, after a comma. Look at these two sentences. Yet it was good. It was cheap. It was good. Yet it was cheap. The second kind of conjunction is the subordinating conjunction. This behaves a little bit differently. There are many subordinating conjunctions. Here are some examples: although, after, as much as, as long as, as soon as, because, before, if, in order, in order that, lest, since, so that, than, that, though, unless, until, when, whenever. Where, wherever, whether, while. You'll notice that some of them are made up of two or more words, such as as soon as. A subordinating conjunction joins two clauses in a sentence. Let's see an example. Although Hafiz and Yati were rich, they lived frugally. In this example, the conjunction although. Is used to connect these two clauses. Hafiz and Yati were rich; they lived frugally. Although Hafiz and Yati were rich, they lived frugally. Some conjunctions are used to show contrast. Contrastive conjunctions are words like however, in spite of, in contrast, instead, nevertheless, and but. They show a contrast between two or more ideas. Here is an example: Mr. Lee will be at the meeting. However, he may be a little bit late. So, although Mr. Lee will be present, he will not be on time. Here is another sentence to show contrast: In spite of the farmer's poor health, he lived until a ripe old age. Another kind of conjunction is the correlative conjunction. It shows the relationship between the ideas expressed in different parts of a sentence. For example, the pair of conjunctions either, or, is used to show that the ideas represent two alternative choices. Look at this sentence: Either Suresh or Alif will be in the team. Either or here links the two nouns Suresh and Alif. Another pair of correlative conjunctions are neither, nor. Neither the boys, nor the girls were keen to go camping. Neither nor here links the two noun phrases the boys, and the girls. Other correlative conjunctions are both, and, whether, or, and if, then. Here are some examples. Both father and son worked in the bank. They don't know whether he's dead or alive. 
If we miss the bus, then we have to walk. What else do we need to know about conjunctions? A conjunction can be used at the beginning of a sentence or between two clauses. So we can say, when it rains, the river overflows, or the river overflows when it rains. Before we go off, let's take a look at a common mistake in English. Don't say, although the coffee was cold, but I drank it. Say, although the coffee was cold, I drank it. Or, the coffee was cold, but I drank it. We only need to use one conjunction to join two clauses. That's all we have for today. Bye.